Hi everyone, my name is Ruchi Sudhir and I'm Associate Director for Strategic Engagement at the Oregon Department of Energy. And with me today is my colleague Casey Radcliffe, the Oregon Renewable Energy Siting Assessments Project Manager. This presentation provides an overview of the Oregon Renewable Energy Siting Assessment, also known as ERISA, which was a multi-year grant focused and constraints around energy in Oregon. Continued renewable energy development is anticipated in the coming decades, and developing these energy resources involves balancing issues related to military operations, land use, economic development, natural and cultural resources, and community needs and interests, among others, through coordination and processes at all levels of government, including federal, tribal, state, and local. Specifically, a question that we continue to receive is, you know, we've heard there's a need for more renewable energy development in Oregon to meet the state's energy and climate change goals, but how much renewable energy and where is it all going to go? While this entire question is larger than the scope of our project, it is a question that we're really interested in, and our project does provide robust data and information to inform it. The project deliverables are new educational resources communities, policymakers, developers, tribes, and government agencies interested in renewable energy policies and potential projects by providing a common understanding through data-driven approaches and enhancing early coordination notification. The ERISA project was funded through the U.S. Department of Defense, and it closed in June of 2022 with continued maintenance of the mapping and reporting tool planned to our intergovernmental team, including the Department of Land Conservation and Development and Oregon State University's Institute for Natural Resources, along with our military partners and local liaisons at the Oregon Military Department and the U.S. Navy. Together, our team worked with state, local, federal, and tribal governments, along with gaining input from industry, subject matter experts, technical advisors, and stakeholders across the sector. The project scope and setting is the state of Oregon, including on land and some offshore, with broad consideration on renewable energy technologies like wind and solar, as well as associated transmission infrastructure. The project approach was to collect a baseline or state of play for Oregon by collecting intersectional data, information, and perspectives. The project was also aligned with other ongoing and complementary work on renewable energy and project siting, which is distinct, but did inform the project findings and considerations. Our goal in partnering with the DOD is to support military compatibility through coordination and early coordination and early notification and raising awareness about military needs and interests in Oregon. I'll highlight a few key points. Our project deliverables are considered discussion support and educational tools. The tool is completely voluntary to use. It does not substitute for information submitted to regulatory agencies at counties or the state for permitting decisions. This tool includes mostly publicly available data and information about energy, military, land, and natural resources. When a developer submits information about a proposed project to be evaluated for a permitting decision, that information typically needs to be much more detailed and specific. ERISA project resources can help in the earliest stage of renewable energy development, but will not replace the most more substantive analysis that's done in project siting and permitting. Supporting renewable energy compatibility through coordination and early notification has been a strong goal of the military, but has also become a major theme for others, like cultural resource staff at tribes and local governments reviewing renewable energy projects, all of whom want more coordination across government industry and communities. Finally, our project engagement and deliverables were heavily driven by stakeholder feedback in order to create a collection of information and a new baseline about renewable energy in Oregon. With that, I'm going to pass it to my colleague Casey Radcliffe to give you more project details. Thanks, Ruchi. 
So our core research was conducted through a series of consultant-led assessments and an agency-led setting procedures review. On the left of this image describes the three assessments that provided deep dives into renewable energy, military, and development opportunities and constraints. These assessments closed in the fall of 2021. Key findings and data from these documents were pulled into both the tool and the funding report. The Siting Procedures Review also documented and visualized siting regulations, permitting, and project review processes. The assessments and the procedures review relied on the expertise of state, local, and tribal governments, collected input from industry and technical advisors, along with cross-sector stakeholder and community engagement. For example, the Opportunities and Constraints Assessment reached out to 400 stakeholders, received 80 survey responses, and hosted six regional webinars with more than 140 different attendees. They also collected 650 spatial data sets, 570 of which were reviewed and considered for the mapping and reporting tool. The project had two major deliverables shown on the right side of this image, which are the final report and the mapping and reporting tool. To finalize these products, we released the near final drafts and a beta tool and requested reviews and corrections from stakeholders and project participants. We then provided a series of presentations to receive final input and provide information to encourage awareness and use of these deliverables. Presentations included state agency staff, boards and commissions, the state land board and Senate Energy and Environment Committee, government to government tribal natural resource and cultural resource meetings, along with presentations to local government, renewable energy associations and work groups. Together, the project included more than 800 stakeholder touch points through one-on-one -on -one conversations, surveys, sector and topic specific meetings, along with webinars. A key deliverable for the grant was the final ERESA report, which is complementary to the online tool. The first section discusses the project activities and methodologies, including best practices for data collection. The second section includes key findings from the assessments and context for the reporting functionality provided in the online tool. The next section highlights critical conversations, perspectives, and issues from stakeholders and project participants. And in the conclusion and appendices, we have all of the assessment reports, the procedures review, summary outreach and process documents, and military information, along with final feedback from the tool and an index of data layers. If you're new to our project, we highly encourage you to start with a review of the executive summary in the report. For example, one key takeaway is that our assessment found that there is enough renewable energy potential in the state to meet Oregon's energy and climate goals, while also acknowledging that there are trade-offs related to the impacts and benefits with development that need to be evaluated through sustainable and responsible processes. There are notable challenges to renewable energy development associated with transmission infrastructure and the siting and permitting criteria that weigh both policy and legal priorities. For more details, please check out the full report, which is posted on the ERESA project website. The mapping and reporting tool is housed on Oregon Explorer and is curated by Oregon State University Libraries and our partner at the Institute of Natural Resources. The tool includes robust data and queries for military, energy, natural resources, and community information, along with other important considerations. Users are able to interact with and browse spatial data. They can also create site-specific reports to support early notification and coordination. They can review additional information, such as regulatory processes, maps, assessments, and other tools that are not always reflected in the spatial data or part of this project. To develop refine and test the mapping and reporting tool, the ERISA team led by OSU INR hosted a series of nine focus groups with more than 60 participants, many one-on-one -on -one meetings with agencies and staff from the Oregon nine federally recognized tribes, cross-sector user group meetings, and one-on-one -on -one beta testing with a half dozen cross-sector testers. During this iterative process, the team gathered additional input and suggestions from almost 100 participants, which informed develop of the final tool 
and information summarized in the final report. In this final tool, there are more than 250 data layers, and you can explore those in the tool, with more than 75 of those data sets queried in the final site level report. As of June 30th, 2022, the final deliverables were posted with additional project resources provided for reference and will continue to be developed to support increased awareness and use of the report in the tool. This also includes a new landing page on Oregon Explorer that talks broadly about renewable energy, features key information on this project, and we hope will continue to be a platform for additional resources and tools in the future. You can find this site by going to the Oregon Explorer homepage and then clicking the Renewable Energy link. Looking ahead, we continue to plan to maintain the tool. We would like to develop new use cases and receive feedback via our online comment portal. And we'd like to consider future functionality enhancements with your feedback. You can sign up for email updates and you'll be notified of any future project activities or changes. In closing, the objectives of the ERESA project was to baseline data information and perspectives to create a transparent, consistent collection of trusted, accurate information in a way that would minimize conflict and support development. To achieve these objectives, our project team and consultants engaged in extensive research and stakeholder outreach. The end result is a thorough assessment of renewable energy in Oregon that centralizes and makes accessible a vast amount of information to inform future renewable energy project and policy discussion. We invite you and others to visit our online tool and the report and continue to explore our project website and supplemental information. Thank you.